everyone welcome back to another session in dentistry and more so last session uh, we had seen uh, thyroid gland disorders in physiology so topic for today is pituitary gland disorders so basically uh, the disorders of any gland could be of two reasons similarly the pituitary gland also has the hyperactivity problems or hypoactivity so this hyperactivity is a over functioning and hypoactivity is a under functioning of pituitary gland which both creates problem moving on we have the list of disorders of pituitary gland uh, we can classify it as uh, anterior pituitary posterior pituitary and the hyperactivity problems and the hypoactivity in anterior pituitary the hyperactivity causes gigantism acromegaly then the cushing's disease whereas the hyperactivity the dwarfism and simmons disease whereas the posterior pituitary we have the hyperactivity which uh, causes syndrome of inappropriate hypersecretion of adh that is anti diuretic hormone and hypoactivity causes diabetes insipidus so we'll uh, learn one by one first we have the um, gigantism the gigantism is caused by the anterior pituitary hypersecretion in gigantism uh, we have the it, the basic causes of gigantism it could be the hypersecretion of hypersecretion of growth hormone in childhood or in pre adult time or it can be due to a tumor of acidophilic cells of anterior pituitary so basic signs and symptoms are uh, 7 to 8 feet height hyperglycemia uh, develops glycosuria Uh, then there will be pituitary diabetes mellitus and uh, headache due to the tumor of pituitary uh, visual disturbances and this gigantism ends in hypopituitarism that is a burning of cells of anterior pituitary now next we have the hypersecretion condition that is acromegaly acromegaly it is the anterior pituitary disorder which is characterized by enlargement thickening and broadening of the bones particularly the extremities of the body so the causes could be again the hypersecretion of growth hormone or it could be due to a tumor which is present in the anterior pituitary so what are the signs and symptoms so signs are like the protrusion of face they are the striking features just the supra orbital ridges are protruded then there will be broadening of nose thickening of lips thickening and wrinkles formation on forehead there will be uh, protruded lower jaw which is a uh, prognathism and ultimately it leads to a appearance which is known as gorilla face and there will be kyphosis which is the enlargement of hands and feet with uh, bowing spine and scalp is thickened and drawn into folds uh, there will be overgrowth of body hair visceral organs are enlarged and thyroid parathyroid and adrenal glands show hyperactivity hyperglycemia and glucosuria and hypertension headache and there will be visual disturbance now we have the third one that is cushing's disease cushing's disease is another form but it is very rare it is resulting in uh, obesity cause is like hypersecretion of glucocorticoids mainly the cortisol but it can be a pituitary origin or adrenal origin if it is pituitary origin which is known as uh, pituitary uh, sorry the cushing's disease whereas the 
adrenal gland uh, origin known as uh, the Cushing syndrome you might have heard Cushing syndrome both are different this Cushing disease by the pituitary gland hyper secretion or hyper functioning Cushing syndrome is by the adrenal gland which is a small gland which is present above the kidneys okay so what are the uh, problems associated with Cushing's disease so it is uh, there is increased secretion of ACTH adrenocorticotropic hormone which leads to hyperplasia of adrenal cortex then there will be hypersecretion of glucocorticoids so this ACTH uh, is increased by uh, either by tumor in pituitary cells that is a basophilic cells or the malignant tumor of non endocrine origin like uh, cancer of lungs or abdominal viscera then the signs and symptoms of this Cushing's disease uh, the one thing is disproportionate uh, distribution of body fat which results in moon phase moon phase there is a fat accumulation and retention of water and salt then there will be uh, fat accumulation in chest and abdomen but with slim legs and arms and there will be buffalo hump buffalo hump that is fat deposition on the back of neck and shoulder then there will be pot belly pot belly that is the fat accumulation in upper abdomen is a characteristic feature of Cushing's disease moon face buffalo hum and port belly then there will be purple striae it is very striking one purple striae as you see the picture here there will be reddish purple stripes on the abdomen due to mainly three reasons one is a stretching of abdominal wall by excess subcutaneous fat or it could be due to the rupture of subdermal tissues due to the stretching or the deficiency of collagen fibers due to protein depletion other features are thinning of extremities thinning of skin and subcutaneous tissues darkening of skin on neck which is known as acanthosis then the pigmentation of skin then facial redness which is known as facial plethora and weakening of muscle then facial hair growth which is known as hirsutism which is the facial hair growth then bone resorption which uh, leads to osteoporosis then hyperglycemia due to gluconeogenesis which leads to adrenal diabetes and glycosuria there will be hypertension then poor healing immunosuppression which so that was all about hyperactivity now let's learn what are the problems with hypoactivity of pituitary gland in hypoactivity the first one is dwarfism so dwarfism is pituitary disorder in children uh, characterized by standard growth so the cause of dwarfism uh, could be the reduction in the growth hormone in infancy or early childhood or it could be due to the deficiency of growth hormone releasing growth hormone releasing hormone from the hypothalamus or the deficiency of stomatomedin or atrophy of acidophilic cells or tumors of uh, the pituitary gland all those can lead to this dwarfism condition the signs and symptoms are standard skeletal growth the maximum height approximately will be three feet compared to the five or six feet head becomes slightly larger in relation to the body uh, mental activity is normal without any deformity the reproductive system is not affected due to the lack of uh, growth hormone so that uh, dwarfism uh, is basically a genetical disorder or also uh, known as uh, sensitivity insensitivity of uh, growth hormone so that was about the dwarfism now we have the Simmons disease Simmons disease we have many other disease but we are focusing mainly on the 
popular one so the simmons disease is a very uh, rare pituitary disease also called as cachexia cachexia and it is uh, developing uh, a senile decay that is a uh, senile decay is due to the deficiency of hormone from target glands of anterior pituitary that is the thyroid adrenal cortex and the gonads loss of hair and loss of teeth the skin of face becomes dry and wrinkled it's a very common sign in simmons disease so that was uh, all about the hypoactivity we have one more condition uh, that is the uh, acro this is the first one then second one and the third one is acromicria acromicria which is a condition uh, where the um, adults they are characterized by the atrophy of the extremities of the body uh, it is by the deficiency of growth hormone releasing hormone and um, this is um, related to the hyposecretion of hyposecretion of adrenocortical hormone or there will be loss of sexual function and person becomes lethargic and obese so these are common uh, pituitary gland disorders that is hypoactivity uh, hyperactivity we have Uh, studied the gigantism uh, Cushing's disease uh, whereas the hyperactivity is the dwarfism so dwarfism and this is uh, and sorry we have gigantism that is a hyper secretion this is dwarfism just hypo secretion then we have the Cushing's disease we here we have the simons uh, simons disease or the acromegaly so posterior pituitary uh, problem with hypersecretion is siadh which is a syndrome of inappropriate hypersecretion of antidiuretic hormone uh, which is a disease characterized by loss of sodium loss of sodium through urine due to the hypersecretion of adh it could be due to a tumor or any other problem associated with uh, lungs or lung cancer so some symptoms uh, like loss of appetite weight loss nausea vomiting headache muscle weakness fatigue uh, restlessness and irritability now the most common one that is associated with posterior lobe of pituitary gland that is diabetes insipidus which is characterized by excess excretion of water through urine so it could be uh, due to a lesion or injury of this hypothalamus or atrophy of posterior pituitary the most common si- signs and symptom is polyuria that is daily output will be 4 to 12 liters so this excretion of large quantity of diluted urine with increased frequency of voiding and uh, due to this absence of adh the epithelial cells of this distal convoluted tubule that is a part of uh, nephron uh, and the collecting duct of kidney becomes impermeable to water so water will be completely lost and polydipsia so that is another one polydipsia that is the intake of excess water because of polyuria there will be definitely thirst so it results in intake of large quantity of water so what is not getting absorbed to the body because this dct that is a distal convoluted convoluted tubule and the collecting duct in the kidney becomes impermeable to water then uh, after that there will be dehydration dehydration in some cases the thirst center in hypothalamus is also affected by the lesion so that was about uh, our posterior pituitary gland problems that is siadh and diabetes insipidus so we complete a pituitary gland disorders in brief it was not a very detailed uh, session 
but it was quite enough to get you uh, marks in your university paper physiology paper so the cushing's disease acromegaly jejunderson uh, the simmons disease or diabetes insipidus dwarfism all are very important it might be asked as a short note or short essay and this pituitary gland disorders might be asked as a main essay so i'll come up with a new topic in the industry more thank you